throwing out food is like throwing out money because, hey, you paid money for that food and we don't want to throw it away. So today I'm going through four of my favorite recipes, four, that I use to eliminate food waste or reduce food waste from our house. If you're new here, this is Cashmere and Kava. Welcome. I'm Carrie Hassan, and this cha channel is dedicated to talking about combining the law of attraction with investing. So I love investing, but how do we get the money to do that? Well, we um, we save money where we can, but using the law of attraction, you want to stay in a high vibe state. So we always want to try to feel abundant and um, attract more abundance into our lives. If that sounds cool to you, if that's something you're interested in, click the subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a like. Let me know you want to learn more about this and you want to see more content um around saving money on things okay let's dive in my four favorite recipes uh things that i do with that stuff when you like open the refrigerator and you go oh my gosh there's just like all this random stuff in here what am i gonna do with it Especially, I don't know about you, but I tend to really overbuy on vegetables. I um, I overestimate the amount of vegetables that we're going to eat during the week. And or like you buy celery, celery, always. It's like such a big bunch of celery and then you need it for a couple recipes, but not for everything. So what do you do? Here it, are the things that I like to make with leftover bits and bobs of food. Um, okay, looking at my notes as always. The first thing I love to make, number one, number one, number one. Uh, is stock, uh, soup stock. So what I always do is like after roasting a chicken, um, having chicken legs, whatever, I keep all the chicken bones, chicken skin, um, little scraps of meat. And then also when cutting up vegetables, uh, when you peel potatoes, when you peel carrots, uh, especially broccoli, like a lot of times we cook the broccoli stems with the broccoli, but other times I just cut up the broccoli stems and put it in a bag in the freezer. Mm. That's a big thing I do. Anytime there's like leftover food um, from chopping vegetables, I will put it in a Ziploc bag in the freezer and then every few weeks I can make vegetable stock. Or whenever we do a roast chicken or chicken with bones in it, uh, that can be used to make um, chicken stock. Obviously chicken stock, vegetable stock. Okay, so what do you put in stock? A friend of mine taught me how to make stock because uh, I didn't know the best way to, the easiest way to make stock is to put everything in a crock pot. So put your, if you're making vegetable stock or chicken stock, like uh, you put the chicken or the vegetables into the crock pot. Um, when I do chicken stock, I normally put uh, celery, celery leaves, um, onion, cut up an onion, cut up a garlic clove, uh, whole peppercorns, bay leaves if you've got them. Um, what else do we put in there? Carrots. Yeah, got to put some carrots. And then for vegetable stock, just like whatever vegetables happen to be in the freezer, put those in there. Um, I normally put a bouillon cube as well. And then fill 
the crock pot up with water and that's it cook it on low for like eight hours so overnight you wake up to smelling stock drain it and put it in the refrigerator super easy and then you don't have to buy stock um which over here has historically been hard to find okay next thing i like to make is soup i make vegetable soup um every couple of weeks so i'll use the stock that i've made and then just chuck whatever uh stuff <laughs> remaining vegetables are left over into the pot um tomatoes are a really good thing to put in there uh courgette or zucchini wherever you are uh, got to have some on onion and garlic so it tastes good. Uh, broccoli, uh, really anything hanging out in the refrigerator. And then uh, when it's done cooking, I use an immersion blender to blend it really smooth. And then it's just uh, delicious. You can use a similar approach to create your own homemade tomato sauce. If you find that you have a lot of tomatoes that have gone a little bit mushy and you don't want to put them on salads anymore, uh, yeah, basically put them in a pot, put a little bit of water, um, put, you know, sprinkle in uh, basil, oregano, Italian herbs, you know, any of that good stuff, salt and pepper and immersion blender again, and you've got some tomato sauce. Uh, okay, another great, another great way to use. Okay, so first two, first two uh, recipes that I use to help eliminate food waste are um, stock and then uh, soup. Third one, is completely different uh and that is quiche quiche is really easy especially if you have things that have already been cooked in the refrigerator um you just put them like in a pan in a quiche pan if you have a quiche pan or a pie dish if you don't have a quiche pan um you can use pie crust if you want to do that or you can do a crustless quiche uh where you put spinach on the bottom that's really good uh if you have vegetables that need to be cooked first you just cook them up and then put them in the quiche pan scramble up like eight to ten eggs uh and put a little milk in there with the eggs to give it a little you know extra good flavor Again, onion, garlic, uh, throw that in there. Makes it taste really good. And then cook that in the oven um, until, until it looks done. <laughs> uh, normally about half an hour, I think. You can look up a quiche recipe. We're not doing instructions on how to cook quiche right now. I'm just giving you ideas of how to use up stuff. Flavor combinations that I like are like broccoli with cheddar cheese. Um, we do spinach with feta cheese a lot. And we call them lardons or like little, little bacons. Um, and, but really like, anything tastes pretty good if you throw it together in a quiche and then you can serve that with a salad and delicious that's dinner or a uh, brunch and the last thing it the last way to eliminate food waste from your house with a recipe is to fry it in a pan with garlic and bacon I know Anything with garlic and bacon is going to taste good. Um, so that is a good answer. Sorry for any vegetarians. There's probably a um, vegetarian alternative like 
fry it in a pan with uh, garlic and tofu or just with garlic. I mean, that's going to taste good as well. What, how this came up, uh, I had bought a head of cabbage and I was cutting the cabbage up and putting it in my salads throughout the week. And I was like, okay, now I've got half a head of cabbage left. What the heck do I do with this? And a friend said, well, you can fry it in a pan with garlic and bacon. And I was like, well, duh. Obviously, that's probably the answer to anything in life is just fried in a pan with garlic and bacon. Um, and it was delicious. The cabbage was so good. It was just like... And Brussels sprouts, that works for two. But I've also done this. Uh, I tend to overbuy on zucchini or courgettes. Um, also with mushrooms so yeah you throw them in saute them up tastes really good and um you can serve that with really anything another thing I like to do is if I make a whole bunch of that and there's some leftovers then the next morning for breakfast I'll just combine that with eggs and mm, healthy and delicious breakfast. So to review, the four recipes I use all the time to help eliminate food waste from our house are stock, soup, quiche, and then frying in a pan with a bacon and garlic. Yum, yum, yum. So if you enjoyed this video, Give it a thumbs up. Let me know you enjoy hearing tips about saving money on food and eliminating food waste. And um, give, give a subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos by Cashmere and Kaba. See you next time.